Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Paris Rapeseed, Winnipeg Canola and Malaysian Palmer Markets. I'll start with Paris Rapeseed. The most recent move higher originated from the drop made in the changeover gap at the end of January. It started from where the optimized February 2021 today uptrend, currently at 6.56.5, and the rising long moving average, currently 726 and a quarter, combined. Prices utilize these two supports as a base for a move higher, slowly filling in the gap and leaving a smaller one behind in between 710 to 718. The next event was the combined bearish dark cloud cover pattern and bearish double made in the middle of March. Now on its own, it was not that significant, but it did allow the creation of an upper trend line, currently 894 and a half, for a smaller ascending narrowing wedge pattern. The lower trend line for this pattern was created just after, and that's currently 849 and three quarters. The upper trend line is a multiple pointer, whilst the lower trend is only a two pointer. This week, with the change, prices gap down below the lower trend line and allow for some targets to be drawn on the downside. This makes a big assumption that the break lower is not a false break, which to be honest, I still have some misgivings about. Anyway, primary target X on the downside will be in the 756.5 area, which is a big ask on the downside, even given the recent action. However, there have been, as I've repeatedly said since my annual review on Paris Rapes, it made at the very start of January this year. In this, I quote, this leads to my final points. Since May last year, we have formed a newer, much more acute bull channel currently 656 and a half to 849 and three quarters. To me, it is super acute and thus unsustainable, but it is there and I will not dismiss it just because of acuteness, end of quote. Well, what I initially saw as a super acute bull channel is still there and I have transferred it and finessed it on this daily chart, such that I am more inclined to refer to it as the February stroke April 2021 to date, larger ascending broadening wedge pattern rather than a bull channel. This pattern is the outlying corralling bullish influence on this market and has shown the way higher, way higher. However, we have had a move up and over the upper trend line during April, even trading a full week above it and outside it. However, and this is more important, this is a monthly pattern. And though we have had a monthly close for April above and outside it, it was only by a relatively small amount. So I'm inclined to look for further confirmation of the bullish intent, which so far in May has not been forthcoming, though the month is still young. Hence, we will also need to see what happens at the end of May for the consecutive confirmation. Anyway, since last week, prices have dropped back down into the large ascending broadening wedge pattern, not even as far as the 38.2% Fibonacci line with the February to April move at 780 before already moving back up. All this is very insecure right now. Winnipeg Canola. The market has been traveling higher from the mid January to late February bullish Andrews pitchfork in a satisfactory manner since it started in late February, mainly using the middle time currently 12, 14, 30 to indicate the bullish angle of attack and making a new all time high last week. However, last week, prices also made a three-day bearish evening star pattern based around the 100% projected Fibonacci line at 11.93.10. And this caused a dramatic drop at the start of this week that punched down through and closed below the lower time, currently 11.62.90, and even punched down through the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 11.42.90, closing below it just the once so far. I have kept this, what I referred to last week, as the super important mid-January to late February bullish Andrews pitchfork still on this daily chart. The reason is that this pitchfork had been breached on the upside back in early March and it has since managed to recover its integrity and show clearly the very recent bullish angle of attack. Thus, I want to be certain that this pitchfork is dead before certifying it. Otherwise, this recent drop down may be like early March and just an aberration in what is otherwise a still bullish move higher. Yes, I will voice one world of caution about this pitchfork. I've already spoken about it before a few times, and it is this. 
My concern is that this bullish pitchfork is quite acute and I thus have concerns about its sustainability. We now have a big question mark over its sustainability and I am not sure about whether it will survive such questioning. Not just yet, maybe. Bursa Malaysia crude palm oil. The December to December 2021 bullish Andrews pitchfork had until the end of February been the most recent driver in moving the market higher. Then over late February and early March, prices broke up above the appetite, currently at 78.62. However, despite some apparent consolidation at the 50% projected level, uh, Fibonacci level at 74.92, what we really saw was the market stalling ahead of the 100% projected Fibonacci line at 81.96, before dipping back down into the depths of the same broken pitchfork. Despite a couple, uh, despite a couple of gaps on the way down, the fall was limited by a combination of the significant late February highs between 67.81 to 67.90, and more importantly, the lower time currently, 62.84, of the recently mentioned broken Andrews pitchfork. All this generated a more sedate, fresh move higher, in between the lower time and the middle time, currently at 70.73. Now, last week saw an interesting attempt higher, gapping higher with both bullish opening and closing white marabozos until last Thursday when moving over the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 74.92, perhaps a little too close to the upper time again, the market made a strong bearish belt hold pattern. Interestingly, this was immediately countered the next day, that's last Friday, by an immediate countering bullish engulfing pattern that extended the very recent high just a little bit more. Yet this was not enough. Even after a buy this very move higher, the market created a weekly key reversal up for last week. You see, after the market was closed for public holidays from the 29th of April until today, the market had reassessed its ideas and today was not just a lower bearish closing black marabozo, but it was also day two and a two day bearish separating lines pattern. This has added further pressure on the downside, but has it really? You see, all it really has managed is to bring the market back into the main bullish driver, and that is the middle sign of the September-December 2021 bullish Andrews pitchfork. Over all of this, please remember that we still have the bullish Andrews pitchfork still controlling this market. And unless this is broken, and I mean properly broken, on the downside, then this pitchfork will show the bullish incentive that is still endemic in this market. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.